least, we are looking at quadratic equations still. We are solving them by the quadratic formula. Once again, everything needs to be in standard form, just like factoring. Now, this week, I'm going to give you everything in standard form, so it shouldn't be an issue. Quadratic formula is right there. X equals opposite of your B value plus or minus square root of B squared minus 4AC equals 2A, or sorry, all over 2A. These A, B, and Cs are coming from standard form. All right, A, B, and C, you're pulling that information out in each problem. I have the quadratic formula on each slide. I'll have it on the worksheet this week. You'll have it in front of you at all times, so don't worry about memorizing the quadratic formula. Let's check out this first example. Solve the equation by using the quadratic formula. Got the formula up there. We got our first equation, x squared minus 5x minus 14 equals zero. This is in standard form, so we're good. Got your A, your B, and your C. I'll give you spots to pull that information out. So use it. All right, so we got that. Now, going through this, we just plug everything in. You just gotta be careful with your signs. That's really the big deal here, all right? So when we plug this in, it's x equals opposite of your b, so five plus or minus b squared, which is 25. You square any number, it's positive, so don't worry about that. Minus four times one times negative 14 for your c all over two times one for your A. I like to show this, this step. I like to show everything plugged in. This is what I do for each problem. Now, here's what I do moving forward. I deal with the minus four AC portion. I do negative four times one times negative 14. So really just negative four times negative 14, which is a positive 56. So we get five plus or minus 25 plus 56 over two times one, which is just two. So we got that. Now we just add together what's inside. Five plus or minus square root of 81. Square root of 81 is nice. It's just nine. Now, almost done. Just like last week with the square root property, we have two answers. So let's check out those two answers. We have five plus nine over two. Five plus nine is 14. 14 over two is seven. There's one answer. Second answer, we got five minus nine over two. So negative four over two, which is negative two. There's our other answer. So we're good to go. That's using the quadratic formula. Let's check out some more. I'm just looking at some new variations of how the answers will look. You got your A, your B, and your C in this problem. Pull out that information, now plug it in. So we got X equals opposite of B is nine, plus or minus negative nine squared is 81, minus four times one times 17, all over two times a, it's just two in this case, so I'm just gonna write two. Two times one is just two. Again, deal with the minus four ac portion. So I deal with negative four times 17 basically, which is negative 68. Now it's a negative 68. I take that sign with me. It doesn't, it's not minus negative, it's a negative 68, so I just subtract. Put it all over two still, and then I take it from there. X equals plus or minus 81 minus 68 is 13. 13 cannot simplify. It's not a perfect square. It doesn't have any factors that is. So guess what? We're done. This is kind of an ideal scenario here. All right. We're done at this point. All right. Just a couple steps. Third one. Just more, again, new variations of it, that's all. Just getting all the looks at our answers. 
We got A is 1, B is 5, C is 2. Plug everything in. Opposite of B is negative 5 this time. Plus or minus B squared, which is 25, minus 4 times 1 times 2. All over 2 again. It's not always going to be over 2. We're going to see some on the next couple slides that it's not over 2. Minus 4AC portion. Negative 4 times 1 times 2 is negative 8. So I subtract 8. 25 minus 8 is 17. 17 we know is not a perfect square. It also does not have a factor that is. So just like the last slide, it's an ideal situation. We're done. All right, don't overthink it. All right, I want it as a fraction, and I want radicals in my answer. Next couple. Answers are going to be a little bit different here. We're dealing with some bigger numbers, too, for the time being, not all the way throughout. All right, it'll get taken care of here in a few steps. We got a 2, negative 14 for B. C is 23. Plug everything in. 14 plus or minus B squared. So negative 14 squared is a positive 196 minus 4 times A times C, which is 2 times 23, all over 2 times A, which is 2 times 2 this time. So it's 4 on the bottom. So keep that in mind. Deal with the minus 4ac portion, which is going to be a bigger number. We end up getting a negative 184 with that. So here's where we stand 196, negative 184, so it's minus 184, all over 4. 196 minus 184 is 12. That's a much easier number to deal with. We have simplified the radicals 12 before last week with square root property. 14 plus or minus 2 radical 3 is what this breaks into. Be radical 4 and radical 3. Put it all over 4. Now, here's something I need you to do. I need you to simplify the fraction. You simplify whatever's outside the radical. I got 14, 2, and 4. They all have a 2 in common. So we take them down by 2. So it's 7 plus or minus 1 radical 3, or just radical 3, all over 2. That's the fully simplified answer. That's the one I'm looking for. That's going to be the toughest portion of this, is dealing with that end result that we just saw. Last one. Smaller numbers, we should be okay. 1, 2, negative 7. Plug it in. Negative 2, plus or minus b squared, which is 4, minus 4, times 1, times negative 7, is your a and c. We're back putting it all over 2, which is just fine. Do the 4ac portion, minus 4ac portion. Negative 4 times 1 times negative 7 is a positive 28. So that means I'm going to add 4 to the 28 and put it over 2. 4 plus 28 is 32. We can also simplify that radical. Now remember, I'm looking for the biggest factor that is a perfect square. The biggest factor of uh, 32 that is a perfect square is 16. So it would be 4 radical 2 all over 2. Take a look at the numbers that are outside here. Negative 2, 2, and 2 all have 2 in common, so we reduce them each by 2. You can put it over 1 if you want, but I don't need to. That is all I need. There are 5 examples, which should be plenty of the quadratic formula.